Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. We're... Oh, it's full of quick... Cool. Um, we're back here. I have a little skit to play before we start. Money seems to disappear before you know it. No, it disappears because you use it. Sure, but if you only use a little at a time, you don't realize how much you're spending. I guess we've been spending a little too much. What do you mean? We need to spend more! Really? But why? The more gold we spend, the more it comes back to us. And it brings its friends, too. R really How interesting. Huh? Rita, your name's on this money. Exactly. I've been writing my name on our we gold so we'll this. know when it comes back to us. And when it does come back, I bet it'll have doubled at least. So go on, use it! <laughs> what a lovely little fairy tale. That's funny. So, we're back again um, on today's agenda. At least for right now, we need to go to the Sophia Rifts, which are those little ice rifts that we had to deal with before. Because there's an inactivated air cranny there that apparently we're going to try to channel air through. Um, I'm not sure on the specifics of it 100%, but I do know it's to help Estelle and to help the world. Supposedly. The good news is, unlike before, we don't have to run down that whole lane full of enemies like we did. All we have to do is land basically right outside of the rifts, and we can actually land on the uh, the exit side, or the side that we exited last time, to save us a little bit of time going through it, so we don't have to go through the whole thing to get to it. So, let's see, I think right about here, wherever it'll let us land. If it, if it lets us land, um, right here. There we go. Okay, that's not as bad as having to walk the whole way, truthfully. So we'll be fine. Now we just avoid all the enemies. Oh, we got. You sure do like walking things. around outdoors. Who are you talking to? <laughs> just myself. Going senile now, huh? We've just been wandering around outside for quite a while now. It might be a nice change of pace sometimes to collect materials for synthesis. And we have Baul, too! We could use him to fly around and collect them a lot faster! You're saying we should get help from Baul? Yeah, I think that Baul probably wants to help all of us with what we're doing. Of course, it's your call whether to collect materials for synthesis or just wander around. Seriously, who are you talking to? Crazy people. And I would do that if I was interested in actually playing this for reals, but... I'm more interested at the moment. Oh, oh, it's gold, gold, gold. So gold, 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 gold. We've been here for like all of like a minute. Yeah, but he's. We're not interested in that so much because I'm not actually playing through it for like high levels and stuff. I'm playing through it for the story. So, what are you gonna do with the air crane? I'm gonna use the energy to make an air converter. An air converter? My plan is to efficiently convert the air into matter, decreasing the overall amount of air. Ooh. But for that, it's that ideal to have the converter use energy similar to both air and matter. How's that energy different from air? Elementally separated air transitions into matter in stages and eventually becomes stable. I'm going to stop its transition between the two states and develop a converter formula. So it won't be air or matter? It's a state that's closer to matter than to air, but it's still not quite matter. That sounds We call fancy. it mana. Mana. It actually has a really long, complicated name, but mana's good enough. But it'll still be less stable than I like shorter matter, names, that's good. So we'll need something to act as a core. The Epithea. And a lot of air and Estelle's power to recombine the formula. Using my power without the control formula will unbalance the air. It'll just flood out again. But we can't just sit here and ignore that thing. And... Yeah? It's a bet I'm willing to take. I guess I should be the one trying to stop you, but... I'm game to get in on this bet, too. The theory is correct. It'll be okay. The theory is correct, we know because it's a theory. So let's go to the air crane. And of course, poor Raven over there is just shivering to death. 
Um, ooh. Well, that's a big ice enemy over there. Um, kind of want to fight him. Hope he's not too hard. We're going to try to fight him. See if that kills us. Might be in for a bit of a surprise. Don't know. Just get around you. Nope, not get around you. We're going to fight you. Ooh, I can't wait to fight this one. We Ooh, must why do we be have, cautious. Why do we have really cool battle music now? You picked the wrong people to fight. That was a really short battle. I don't know why we got the really cool battle music. We will not go easy on you. Yeah, I have no idea why. I love this music, but I don't know why we're getting it. Oh, and I think we have enemies here that we need to log still. Yeah, all of you. Rapid ago. Just gotta log all of them. And the last one, and then we can really start fighting. Electrofish. You look an awful lot like all those other enemies we've been fighting. Nope, nope. Let's stop you. Let's stop you. Okay, let's go. Finish that. Oh, sorry. I, I know I'm not talking much, but that that is seriously one of my. I know I say this a lot, but that is one of my favorite songs. And I'm really surprised we get to hear it in this point. I never heard it before. At least I don't remember it. I tell you, thinking of a converter for air, you're quite the thinker. That's our genius mage girl, Rita. Yep, yep. Well, I had a hint to go off of. Come to think of it, you did say you'd investigated Zaude, didn't you? Despite its amazing size, it wasn't running off air. Even though it was a barrier blastia to protect the entire world. A barrier blastia? Oh yeah, they are protecting the world from the Autophagos. It seems that Alexei thought it was some sort of weapon, but that was a fatal error on his part. But the runaway air was the cause for the Autophagos awakening, wasn't it? Ah, so that's why they would try to use a barrier blast here running on power other than air. But then, ooh, what sort of power was it using? Children of the Full Moon, perhaps? It was actually energy taken straight from them. Inside that giant core, it continued to power Zaude's virtually perpetual formula. More likely, the energy was taken in exchange for their lives. The light of the life was extinguished from the children of the full moon. So that's what Miorzer's legend meant. According to Duke, they did it out of their free own free will. They wanted to save the world. They sacrificed themselves for the world. The children of the full moon were protecting us this entire time. Wow. It's kind of freaky. Watch my back. More cool music. Oh, one thing I did do, other than getting better weapons for everyone and making sure they were all updated, I also got a over limit quad, I believe it was. Which uh pretty cool because now we can build up to level 4 over limits which I don't plan on using mind you but if I wanted to I could build up to a level 4 over limit which would make me invincible and have unlimited TP while using it so maybe if I was in a really bad pickle that might not be a bad idea to rely on there we go I kind of missed that one attack, but we'll get her. Sorry, right, him. Man, I want some more. Oh, that's great music. I'm gonna have to go listen to this. It's on YouTube. I've heard it before. Um, okay. Let's see. What do we got? Can I... That'll work. I do want to fight that big enemy. I think we gotta go this way to get to him. Yeah. Um, we're gonna find out if this is bad or not. This one's strong. Don't just stand... Okay, we got snow spirits and an ice golem. Whining. 
The snow spirits don't have too much health. They're not bad. Although they are kind of annoying. And then we need to figure out what you are, Ice Golem. Hey, you guys don't have too much health. I thought you were going to be some kind of, like, boss. Oh, they do have this explosion attack that hurts. I think I remember that. Yeah, you guys There's are easy. No way we're gonna lose. Froststone and a carrot. Excellent. Um, okay, so back to it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, let's get It's freezing. I think there's a cabin or something where we can get out of the cold. I doubt it I since these are ice rifts. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Ice. Huh. If we just had some fire. Oh, yeah, Rita. Use your magic to give us some fire, would you? <laughs> what am I, a walking matchbox? And besides, using it on you would be a waste of air. What's the big deal? Weren't you just using it over and over again just a little while ago? That was to defeat enemies. What would you want me to set on fire anyway? Hmm, you've got a pretty muscular body. Huh? Well, I mean, with the gills, <laughs> and the knives, and all, it's a lot of work. Totally forgot like about the cold. Fat to burn very well. <laughs> That's too bad. Huh? Hey! That's funny. All right, so let's keep going. Run away. I think we're pretty close to it. Yeah, here we go. Oh, did our save point move? It wasn't up there originally, I don't think. Not that that's an issue. Um, just want to save really quick. This is a pretty far out spot and it takes a little while to get to, so... I'd like to keep it safe. That monster's not gonna show up again, right? If it does, you'll beat it up for us just like the last time, right? You're mean. Whoa, it made a cool sound. Okay, I'm ready. Estelle, come over here. Now, I'll release the control formula. Once I do that, the air crane will react to you and produce more air. I want you to recompose the air formula into a stable formula closer to mana. How is she supposed to do that? I yeah. don't understand. Yeah. Okay. The water element is strong here, so imagine flowing water and let your body flow with the air. The theory behind materializing air is the same as performing magic. If Estelle can recompose the air into a state close to mana, then I should be able to guide the air into the Cyanocell. Can we do anything? No. Go take a nap or something. Yeah, we We'd can't help. We'd freeze to death if we took a nap here. We can use the conversion formula we found in Zaude. That was for substituting life for air. Your life! You can't do that! But if this fails, then we'll all be swallowed up by a flood of air. We'll be dead anyway, right? We're all risking our lives. Let us help. Come on. All right. Yeah. I'll use your life energy to guide the air into the Cyanocell. If we do that, I think Estelle will understand the flow of the air without interference from me. All right, everyone, let's do this. Okay. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Woo. <laughs> sure. Why not? Got nothing better to do this weekend. Ready, Estelle? Here we go. Everyone. Come over here! Go ahead. Now I think this is like a mini game of sorts, if I remember correctly. Try and synchronize yourself with my formula. There, that's good. <sighs> yep, it's a mini game. Okay, about Air Master. Confirm rules. Air conducted by Rita will flow from right to left on the top line in color. Press buttons. Corresponding to the color of the air at the correct timing when it overlaps Estelle's force field, represented by the blue mark, to reconstitute it. 
The button is not pressed at the correct timing. Air will leak, so beware. The gauge on the right represents the amount of mana collected. Collect the specified amount to clear the game. Yay! So it's press button. It's really, really ridiculously easy. Could you give me something other than A? You know, mix this up a little bit? There we go, B. Now we're bumping up the difficulty level. She looks so happy when you get it right. Look at that. She's like, "Wee! I'm so happy. Oh, now we're throwing in X. Now it's going to get crazy. A, then B? No, I can't deal with that. Now why? Oh my gosh, this is so intense. I think this is the only time we ever played this game, too. Save successfully recon reconstituted air. Yay, the mini air games! Is collecting in the I just gotta say that was kind of unnecessary. We could have done without that, really, but it's not that bad. The formula is working. The force field is stable. It's gonna be okay. Uh, uh. Yeah. Shriek! D did it not work? No, it's still under control, but what is this? The formula for reshaping the Apatheia. It's reformulating itself! Ooh, water. I like water. Now, what do we have here? That was a little unexpected. That voice. Bellius? Judith? Yes. It is I, Bellius. Or rather, I was once Bellius. But no more. What's going on here? Could the will of Bellius trapped in the Apatheia have... Amazing. I feel the waters of the world at my command. I am the ruler of the waters. Okay, so did it work? It's gone way beyond working. I never thought it would gain a will of its own. Humans? What creature am I? Though no longer Bellius the Intellicaea, you have granted life to me. I ask that you give me a name. A being that controls the essence of a material. Maybe you're a spirit. And so my name shall be... The Splishy Splashy Watercolored Queen! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this part. Splishy Splashy An Watercolored word Queen. for the ruler of the waters. How about Undine? Undine. Henceforth, I shall be known as the Spirit Undines. Ah, I feel the power swell within me. Such is the benefit of the air which you saw fit to gather for me. It wasn't any cakewalk either. Receive this now as token of my thanks. Will we get free stuff? Death contrast to Swiggly. Times one, Dark Avenger plus one, and a Moonstone. We need to get the world's air under control. Please lend us your power. Very well. However, my powers alone will be insufficient. Huh? I control only the waters. You must gather those who rule the other elements as well. Yay, fetch quest! Only it's not like a super annoying fetch quest because we get to go to cool places and do cool stuff. The elements of earth, water, wind, and fire. We need at least three more. We'll need help from the other Entelikea, won't we? I doubt they'll turn into spirits just because we ask nicely. Probably not. There are a few Entelikea left. Pharaoh, Gusios, and Ba'ul. Not Ba'ul. Not Ba'ul. He hasn't taken in enough air to create an Apatheia. And on top of that, I won't allow it. Undine, do you have any ideas? The shining forest of Ariolumi and 
Oh. That was cool. No. She is here. I feel her. It seems like the air crane has quieted down too. Even though we're not controlling Estelle's power. Really? So, Undine is controlling Estelle's power? Cool. You mean Estelle is really free? Yes. Yes! That's great, Estelle. Well, things are sure taking a turn for the strange. Yeah, and the good. I never would have it's dreamed good. any of this would happen. But we finally see the light at the end. Rita earned the Spirit Hunter title. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Rita, you look happy. So do you, Yuri. There's no longer anything shackling Estelle. She can use her power without causing any harm to herself or unbalancing the air. So yeah, I'm happy. Estelle's really free! There's no guarantee she won't overdo things again, though. We'll just watch her closely. If we don't, she might go back to healing people till she keels over. Yeah. Might not be a good idea. But it is good that she finally has it under control and we don't have to use this, uh... This formula thing to keep it under control. So that's cool. And now we can leave, and as we were told, we need to find, um... We need to find these other locations, which apparently Bao will know about, so we need to go back to him. Focus on the enemy in front! And if we get these locations, then... I guess there might be more spirits or more things we can do there. I think, that's the idea. Cool music, though. I love it. We shouldn't let this go to our heads. Speaking of which, I've got like an entire group of girls. Can we mix it up a little bit? There we go. I got nothing against girls, but <laughs> let's just mix it up just a bit. Okay. I like this place, though. This place is always pretty cool. I wonder if we'll get to keep the cool um, fight music, though. I sure hope so. No, no, leave me alone, Mr. Bird. Come on. Nope, okay. I guess I can fight. Oh well, more cool music. Gotcha. Get up. <laughs> Time, guys. Yeah, just like that. Oh, I think I also got. Oh, I I did. I forgot to put it on. I got a new. I made an outfit with a. Oh no, um, this one. I made an outfit for Rita actually, um, or a different attachment, a devil outfit. Thought that was kind of funny. Whoops, hold on. Whee! She's got like a tail and little wings. I don't know. I thought that was funny. I'll keep it. Is Undine really here? Yes. I can't really explain it, but she is here. I can sense it. Well, she was created through Estelle, so maybe the two are connected. Very interesting. Hey, save the research for later, okay? <laughs> I, know, I gotta I know. research you don't her. Have to... what, what was that just now? Isn't that where? It came from the direction of Zaude. Uh oh. Oh, we got nice cutscenes though. That crystal that squished him is all sparkly. Oh wow, this is really bad. Now we've got multiple tentacle looking things coming out of the sky. 
Oh no! That's not good either. I sure hope Flynn wasn't in one of those, so that could be bad. You remember seeing that thing? So long ago we saw one, but it was a mirage actually. The Atafagos. No. Has Zaudi stopped working? Uh-oh. Do you think we might have done something to set this off? That is the true catastrophe. That thing does look like it could eat the whole world. What are we supposed to do about something like that? Hey, Rita. Duke said the Autophagos was born from air. Huh? So if the spirits convert air into matter, could we do something about the Autophagos if we had enough spirits? I don't know. I just... I don't know. But... I do think it's worth a try. Let's try it, Yuri. Let's it's try it. Baul. Yes, I see. Thank you. The servants of the Atafagos are attacking the city, Nordapalaga. <gasps> Time for a little rescuing. Like that. Let's go. Time for a little rescue action. Ooh, After a skit. I'm gonna hurt that idiot who brought the Atafagos back. What could have happened at Zauda? Those nut jobs probably fiddled with the thing too much and broke it. Thanks to Alexei, Zauda's no longer functioning like it was meant to. This guy just never learns, does he? Things are gonna have to hit bottom before he consider changing his ways. But they see that thing about to eat the planet, right? Even an idiot would understand the situation. I sure hope so. Well, there are a lot of idiots, and they don't seem to understand the situation quite well enough. Alright, so now we gotta get off this ice flow so we can get picked back up. Oh my gosh, no, this is gonna be a terrible fight. So many. The bigger the bunch, the weaker the monster. Now this is my stuff. No, you're gonna make me miss my thing. Oh, I missed my thing. I'm mad now. Come here, you're gonna die. I'm annoyed at you. I was gonna use the level 3 and then you went. Started being a loser. The sign of victory! Yeah! Oh, she got item pro. Cool. Does that mean she's done? Oh, he's done. Um, he needs to use both of these bows, I think. Wait. Now I'm confused. Oh well. Get to working. Oh, you need it. She needed a new one, too. Yeah, all three of these are ones for her. Wait, wait, recast magic three. Okay, yeah, so they have completely different things. Okay. Sorry, I got a little video skip there. That hasn't happened in a while. I thought it was done for. Sorry about that. Okay. So now we're up again. World's looking a little less good, although it's kind of neat, because look at all those stars and galaxies we can see now. Not that that's a good thing for saving the world and whatnot, but it's kind of neat. And we're actually going to stop off here just for the sake of I need a save point, because um, we need to stop for today. But I hope you guys did enjoy regardless, and if you come back next time, we will go back here. Uh, we actually need to go to the city with the Colosseum and stuff. So, yeah, come back next time, and we'll do that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, yada yada, all that good stuff. Bye!